Hi guys, it's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming, and Homer thinks I'm talking to him. Hello, handsome. And that's my bad leg. I know you don't care. So um, I'm probably not going to be able to do a video right now, it's unless I stop talking. I'll just wing it. Yeah. All righty. So I went um, to Michael's um, just to see if they had a color of yarn that I wanted, and they did. So um, I went ahead and I got that. And, um, you know, Homer could care less that I bought anything at all. He just wants the, the love that he's getting right now. Um, but he might knock the camera over. Um, so he's kind of done, but, uh, the yarn that I wanted, it's over here in the, uh, well, I thought I got three of them. Yep, I did. Um, was the facets, um, and I wanted to get it in blue so I can make, um, a scarf or something to, uh, wear to hockey. I'm going to have to get a move on all of these hockey things. Um, I'm not going to start it anytime soon. I already have enough over there and under there to worry about. So, um, um, maybe these will end up in a pick my next whip. I'm actually kind of hoping they don't because, um, I kind of like to take my time with those. That's three of them that's, um, would end up in there. So this is the loops and threads facets. It is the color lapis. I'm almost positive. Yes. Um, Three and a half ounces, 279 yards. So that's, uh, what, two, four, six, uh, about seven or 800 some odd yards. Um, I don't know what I can make with 800 odd yards, but I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, so I'm going to put those back there. Um, all right, and this other stuff I got for five bucks. Um, it was on sale at Michael's, and it's another Loops and Threads, the macrame colors. Um, these were on sale for five bucks. Um, I got two of the solid blue. They're, um, uh, the color is cornflower blue. They're um, 85% cotton, 15% polyester, and um, you need a whole lot of them to make a macrame project. <laughs> uh, how much is in here? They are regularly, or, or in Canada, they were regularly $14.99. I'm not sure how much in U.S., but um, there are 10 and a half ounces and 82 yards. And I have two of the blue, the cornflower blue. Two of the cornflower blue marl. Um, two of the, um, dried rose. And two, this must be dried rose marl. And two of the dried rose marl. Alrighty. And, um... I got some free patterns while I was there. I did. Um, I had all of the crochet ones, and I was like, I need to grab some knit ones. Excuse me. So, I got the Jackson Knit Super Scarf. And there's that right there. Um, and this is a Piper 
knit scarf. Um, a knit waterfall vest. I will probably never do that, but I might. A bias knit scarf. Um, mosaic knit wrap. I'm going to have to try it at some time. I'm not ready for that yet, I don't think. A trellis knit cowl and hat. Of course, it's green. Mm -hmm. A mosaic knit cowl. Right there. A Twillington knit scarf. There we go. And a Kennebec River Knit Shawl. All righty. And I did get a book. <clears throat> but I'm going to be giving this book away. So if you have stayed around this long, um you have a chance to win this book. There's um, 40 plus stash busting projects. Okay, but you see, I had an ulterior motive. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I have to go to page 36 for my ulterior motive. Oh, I guess I could show you some of the stuff that's in here. Um... There's a scrap bag and some scrap coasters and a little pig. Um, some more coasters, some little baby booties, some potholders, a doily, a necklace, um, a mandala that you hang on the wall. Um, and then there's, uh, you know, something for a, to put a pot in, another doily, a blanket. I have no clue. That's a bracelet, some kind of cover up, some little pots. Uh, I don't know what that is. Some dish towel or something. A can cozy a little mouse, and another blanket. Now, there is one project that's near and dear to my heart that is not showing on here. And it just happens to be on page 36. So, <laughs> to page 36 we will go. So, now... In order for you to win, you have to make something. No, I'm just teasing. You do not have to make something. But this is why I bought it. So you could make me some eggs. See, I told you. If you really wanted it, you have to make me some eggs. I'm just teasing. No, I'm not teasing. I really want some eggs. And I don't want just the eggs. I want an animal inside of it. Yeah. No, I'm teasing. You really don't have to. So, yeah, the animal inside I want, you know, it could be pretty much anything. No, I really don't want an egg. Um, so, you know, think real hard about what kind of egg or animal that you would put inside the egg. And um, so, yeah. Uh, so how about let's give it a keyword. Um, how about give it the keyword egg. And uh, don't forget you have to think about what you would put in the egg for me after you win it. Or even those that don't win it, you know, because um, it is all about me after all. Um, I need some eggs. This one is taking forever to hatch, but it does have a cardinal. Um a cardinal watching over it, and an eagle. Yep. So, yep. Don't forget, whoever wins this, go to page um, 36, and I keep missing it. I go to 34 and 38. Um, page 36, 
and um, you can make a duck and um, that will fit inside the egg. I like ducks. I can't have any ducks here, but, um, or, or you could make, and look, the, the ducks come with cute clothes. Aren't they adorable? Yep, a boy duck and a girl duck. Mm -hmm. And look, see, they fit inside the eggs. They fit inside each of their own um, boy duck and girl duck eggs. How adorable is that? So, um, if you're interested in winning this book and making me some eggs, you don't really have to make me any eggs. Um, just comment egg below and um, think about some cool animals that you're going to put inside those eggs when you send them to me. Just teasing. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, I really am just teasing. If you are interested in uh, winning this book, make sure you put the keyword egg, E-G-G. -G, and um, I will do a random comment picker uh today is the third so let's go on the 10th i will pick a winner so it'll run for a week and on the 10th um i will pick a winner and post the winner um so yes get your ideas ready for the egg that you're gonna make me and um i can't wait to get it in the mail just tease it all right, guys, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day, and um, I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.